I just had an incident happen on the bus, and please don't come up to me, sir. Oh, God. Didn't mean to sit in that last one, but whatever. I just had an incident happen to me on the bus where a, um, a mic, an, an immigrant, um, sat next to me. What are the odds, right? And he was having a complete and total meltdown. And I know what you're going to say. Say, I already know what you're gonna say go ahead and chastise me I know but I tried to calm him down right because no one else was doing anything you know um why are not you I know 90% of the men that I follow here are like men men right but like why is it in real life there are so many fucking cowards you know like he was clearly harassing me he was clearly bothering me but I stayed calm I stayed calm, but he was complaining because he was talking about how long it's taking him to get his um, passport, and like he was clearly having a meltdown, and I mainly want to talk to the ladies out there. Um, for some reason, I work on a bad side of town, and then my job enforces us to stay late, and it's like, I'm a girl on a bad side of town, what do you think is going to happen? But I'm going to tell you some defense tactics that I personally use in my life and to my fighter friends my hands are ashy don't look at them to my fighter friends um if you have some tactics you would like to share with me please let me know so I always carry my backpack um not only because I like to journal but um it's kind of like a weapon because <laughs> it's really heavy right so I always have my backpack on me so that way if I need to swing at someone it's gonna hurt them believe me it's hurt it hurts my back <laughs> I always carry my wine key with me because they took my pocket knife at the airport so I'm still waiting on getting a new one but I always carry my wine key with me um, not only because you never know when you're gonna need to open a bottle of wine but because it can be used as a weapon because I know that I'm not not I'm not stupid. Um, I wasn't born yesterday, just today. But um, I know that I, I cannot overpower you, right? I can lock you down with my legs, but I'm going to use my knife, my um, pocket knife or my wine key to subdue you, okay? Um, I hope that helps a little bit, and I hope that didn't make you nervous. I hope that I just take the city bus, okay? You are fine. You are safe. I just take the city bus, okay? Everything's fine. I just want to share what I use in my everyday life, okay? I hope I didn't make you nervous. Have a blessed day, okay? Oh, oh, three more things, and then I'm going to let you go. Um, please stop looking at me. Um, three more things, and I'm going to let you go. Um, if you're being attacked, don't call rape. Okay, because no one's gonna pay attention to you. You call fire. Okay, because everyone pays attention to a fire. Okay, and then have an emergency contact. So, other than dialing 911, please dial 911. But, um, I always had that family member or my boyfriend or that friend who I call, and I'm like, oh, I'm on the phone with them right now. You know, like, I can't talk with you right now right so that way they can stay on the phone with you to make sure that you're taken care of I use that all the time okay and I forgot the last one but it just sucks as a woman that you have to protect yourself and that sounds like such a backward sentence because we asked for this but like as a man can you be a man can can we bring back toxic masculinity I kind of want that back <laughs>